From Copperhead Road Well, it ain't a rain of whiskey And a big black dot Bought it at an auction At the Mason's Lodge Shots and kind of share Painted on the side just to go to primer, then he looked inside. Well, he was my attitude in Janine. But I still remember that rumbling sound. Well, the tears came around in the middle of the night. Her father crying and something was around. Then another night, so he's a weekly load. So I was he burning on a Copperhead Road. Okay, now I want you to tell him what you told me. Okay, well, I'd like to donate this to your foundation for you to auction off. It's from the Super Bowl that you were on. My mom is a survivor, and it just means a lot to me. No, that's what I want to do. I want to like you to sign no, it. No, I really can't. It I really can't accept it. I really can't. I got the new one from the new Super Bowl. I really, I, that, <laughs> please, thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Yeah, no, thank you. This is nice. Yeah, could you guys just um hold yeah, um, shake hands again and just take the bow. Josh? Josh. When you're done, you go over there and have them write VIP on your bracelet. Nice. Oh, this is a video? You. Okay. Yeah. I should rap or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. I appreciate everything you're doing. This thank is you awesome. Very much. Just don't say it, super cool stuff. Lot to me. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, just write VIP on his bracelet. Who, me? I can't spell VIP. <laughs> <laughs> I just signed my mom's picture when she was going with the chemo, man. This is... Oh, oh. You can write it anywhere. Just... Awesome. Thank you, you guys. <laughs> Thank you, man. <laughs> nice shaker. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's awesome. Josh, uh, I like that gold. Too. <laughs> she made me cut mine off. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. No, Pick something. You, like I said. Well, if I could, I would just. Could I have them sign a couple? Of, I mean, like my mom's. Oh yeah, they yeah, pack her head. Yeah, you or, betcha. Hey, don't be doing that. I'm sorry. I know I was gonna cry too. I'm sorry. You kind of made me cry for a dollar. That's my number one favorite. Did you know about that? They say payback is so. I know it is. My boy's three now, but it's oh, this is going in a frame and you're going in his room, so uh, yeah, he's an 18 more than he's on the He's gonna play he's gonna play safe, but I think it's gonna be more so uh, offensive line. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Man. Thank you, Josh. Not a problem. Thank you. Thank you. Where'd you get the Super Bowl at? What? Where'd you get the Super Bowl at? Yeah. My neighbor. He loves me. He says you can't find yeah. those hats anymore. I know. He told me to protect it with my life. I mean, I need the last whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna when it gets dark, we're gonna write. You got a name up? Well, she had it. <laughs> yeah, just a fumble. If you had somebody pass away, or you wanna in memory of someone, we're gonna when it gets dark. We're going to let them up. 
Old Life Survivors or anybody that you want to represent. We got how many do we have? 29 of them and they're five bucks a piece and they're all going to the foundation. So right about I guess maybe eight o'clock when it gets dark, we'll all let them go up. So if you like to purchase one of them, you can come over where at? Come up to the autograph table and purchase one. And we're gonna lower the beer down to a dollar. We have a, a two by three foot canvas signed by Clay Matthews. The Claymaker, Sacking, Brett Favre. Uh, this was just signed about a week ago. And he wanted to donate it to the Leroy Butler Foundation for Breast Cancer. So Okay, next we got bring it. A Leroy Butler, bring it, let, let them see it. For some of these people, they may not have seen it. A two by four foot canvas of the Lambo Leaf. Everybody know I've been oh, to the Lambo yeah. Leaf, right? Yeah. I'll tell you guys a quick story about the Lambo Leaf. You made it. The Lambo Leaf was born in 1993 against the Raiders. I get to the locker room, I'm from Florida. I look up to the thermometer and it has a minus next to a 17. <laughs> And I go and beat on it and say, this thing broken? No, no, son, you have to play. So I go get my uniform. And I go in there, and I got my jersey, pants, turtleneck, gloves, and all this stuff. There was one more thing in that little pile that I had to use to stay warm. There was pantyhose in there. Yeah. These guys know about the pantyhose. So I said, wait a minute, women have been keeping this secret for thousands of years and they won't give their husbands these nylons when they go hunting? What's up with that? So I go and try to put these things on and everybody in the locker room are getting stuck around the knees. They can't get them up. So Bryce popped in, guys, I saw my wife put them on once and when she shakes, they come up. So she sh <laughs> So all of a sudden I looked over and saw Reggie White putting on pantyhose. <laughs> I don't know if you ever saw a 6'5", 300 pound guy putting on pantyhose, but don't eat nothing before you see that. <laughs> so we get into the game and I cause a fumble and Reggie White picks this fumble up. And he's running this slow. I remember that game. <laughs> and then when this guy tackles Reggie, he ladles me the ball. Now I get the football, and I'm running down the sideline, and as I'm running down the sideline, I'm thinking to myself, I want to do something spontaneous. And I thought about jumping in the stands. And I point to this guy, and said, I'm going to jump right there. But there's two problems. The first problem, not the penny was helped, actually. <laughs> I'm running down the sideline, and the first thing I saw, this guy, I point to him, I said, I'm going to jump. But this guy wants to look at his watch because it's deer, deer season. He's looking out, when can I go shoot deer? I'm at a game. The other thing is, have you, raise your hand if you've ever been to Lambeau Field for a game. You're going to back me up with this next one. The other thing, he had a beer in his hand. And you know you don't get rid of a beer in Lambeau Field at about 2,000 bucks a piece. Sorry about that, Miller. As I'm running down, I get ready to jump up, and this guy's making a hard decision. Does he throw away his beer that he stood in line for over an hour to get and it's about to freeze? Or does he throw it away and catch Leroy Butler, the first ever Lambo Leaf? Tough decision. So as I get close, I throw the ball down, I jump up, and he's like, oh, no, no. <laughs> so when I jump up, he throws the beer away throws the beer away and he catches me. He says, you owe me a beer! <laughs> That's when I knew I made it in Wisconsin when I beat out an MGD. So. <laughs> now, back to the auction. Lambo Lee photo. Thank you very much.
Thank you very much. The applause is good no matter no matter what. No matter how many